Hello, you're listening to Mystic Orange. This is Talking the Shadows, um, yeah, episode uh, 36. Um, in today's video, I'll be reviewing um, uh, season 1, episode uh, 19. Um, it's the uh, uh, Army of Decay episode. So, yeah. Um, in the um, uh, so the start of this episode, um, the tricks come back from Tarta um, Earth. They have the dragon fire, and yeah, uh, they try to um, um, ruin Cloud Tower. Um, we see some like the teachers for the first time. Um, yeah. Um, uh, Professor Zarustra and um, I forgot the other one. Um, what her name is? Um, uh, the purple one. Um, um, hold on. So um yeah that um the witches are really like uh, power hungry uh, at this stage um so um it, they try to um attack the, the uh, teachers um uh, Miss Griffin kind of stops them um um yeah I think uh, we really see how the tricks the tricks are like. Um, you can tell in their eyes they have the dragon fire. Also, they think I, I don't know. Um, at this stage, you know, they kind of have their own version of blue mix. Um, it, even though you know, um, um, so um, uh. Let me think. Um, so yeah, the tricks are really power hungry. Um, I really like how uh, Miss Griffin really is shown herself in this episode. Um, like um, she's defending her own school. Like she, it, it really shows that how much she cares about her students. Like um, she may be the um, headmistress of witches, but she's not evil. She just uh, practices dark arts, and she's a good example of witches. So um, I I would praise Miss Griffin. Um, so after that, um, the tr the tricks um, go to the vault thing, and um, they prepare to summon the army of darkness. Um, or in in my pre preference, I prefer to call it the army of decay. Um, I think it's far more better name in my opinion. Like, Army of Darkness, it sounds a bit um, like it doesn't have any matter. Like, like it's not made of anything. But uh, Army of Decay, I feel like it's made of like um, rock from underground. Like, it makes me think of Ruby, um, uh, the grim, grim stuff. Like. Um, if you watch uh, Ruby, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, like how they use like um, like silver-eyed warriors um, from the ground, and I think it's like Attack on Titans as well. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, so um, they summon these um, armies. Um, Not is really scared. So I think he plans to leave, um, and we really see uh, how they look like. Um, I think um, they're like five version of these, um, or maybe four. Um, first, you get these um, 
insect ones, like ants, uh, they just like uh, create termites. Um, then there's um, the ones with the tentacles, like they look like so soldiers. Um, uh, yeah, they are soldiers. Uh, and then there's um, the like fighting ones, one with the no head. So yeah, they're like muscly. And there's uh, there's two types of the flying ones. Um, there's the manta ray one, and there's a torpedo one, uh, the one that looks like a tadpole. tadpole. So yeah, um, I think they look really interesting. Like, uh, you know, I'm sucker for like mystical creatures, like they're uh, presented in Wings Club. Like how I showed, like how I mentioned in the Nightmare Monster. Uh, I just love how uh, the Wings Club uses like these sort of creatures. Uh, so yeah. So um, back at Althea. Uh, Bloom comes back from Earth. She's all sad, depressed. Like uh, the tricks have her power. Um, they go back to their dorm, like meeting her friends. They're all like worried, and they all see her again. It's nice like they all like you know um, the thought about Bloom. Uh, they they are good friends. And then we uh, see um, Griselda. I think she's just uh, funny. Uh, she is funny and scary at the same time. Uh, like, uh, she's she is like uh, lingo, like what well, up, bloom, something like that. Uh, like try to fit in with the young uh, kids, um, like sarcastic way. Um, but I think uh, I do appreciate Griselda. Like even though she is strict, I mean, I would not prefer her any other way. You know, you know. I like Griffin. I mean, I like Griselda strict, but you know, um, I think it's really nice. Like at, at one moment, I think she really shows her like her vulnerable side. Like um, she just hands over uh, the TT Bloom, and she sounds really like you know like sombre. Um, so Bloom explains stuff to Faragonda uh, while her, she's drinking her tea. Like, did she drink it? I don't know. Um, but, you know, um, she reveals stuff to uh, Faragonda and Faragonda's like hiding stuff from Bloom. Like, she finally finds out. Um, yeah, I feel like it, you can kind of parallel uh, these, uh, like, Griselda and Faragonda to, like, Harry Potter uh, characters, like, uh, Griselda sometimes reminds me of Snape uh, from Harry Potter, uh, and um, uh, Faragonda is like Dumbledore, like with the, her wiseness. Um, and I think um, it, it's a stretch, but I think Whiskers is a bit like Flitwick, uh, you know, the um, the dwarf guy, uh, teacher, uh, like shark guy. Um, and then there's um, I mean, this is a really stretch, but like, I think um, Professor Palladium is slightly like uh, Professor Trelawney, you know. Um, I mean, they both have that like um, mystical part of them. You, you know, um, the Palladium deals with potions and. Um, uh, is an elf and like Trelawney she does with like um psychology you know um those um things um I forgot what it's called you can tell me um anyway um they all prepare um um Bloom just cries in her bed about what just happened and you know um, I think my favorite scene is when like Stella like she gets calls from Brandon and she's like um, dissing him because rightfully so he's a loser and um, yeah uh, and then like Raven he goes uh, to Cloud Tower um, yeah um, I think um, he tries to like uh, contact Darcy and stuff. Um, so uh, at that stage, uh, Darcy, Darcy and the other tricks uh, they um, sabotage Riven and like put him in 
in his state. Like, um, at this point, I really don't care what happens to Riven. In my opinion, I like the tricks. So, and I don't like Riven. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't, I don't care what happens to him. I, I mean, it is scary what is happening to him. But, you know, I really don't care. Like, he caused so much grief to us uh, in the past episode. He's gonna cause us more grief in the future episodes. So, you know, I really don't care. Like, if, if I was the tricks, I would just kill him off, you know. We don't even need him. Uh, l let's be honest, like, uh, from the specialist, he, like, we don't need Riven. Uh, so, yeah. Um. Um. So, yeah. Um. So the army goes off to, um, attack, uh, both of the skill. I feel like this, like, um, like a sting operation, like you just go, f like, like threaten the schools first, you know, with the army, um, because there's a bigger wave afterwards. This is like the early stage uh, of the army, um, so um, it goes off to uh, towards Alfia, like uh, there, the wing skills are in the dorm room, um, and like uh, Techno kind of points out like. The, uh, the, there's weather in the sky and you know it's not natural which I think is really interesting um, so anyways um, the the ants I mean the army of decay they try to like go all over the school um, I, I wish you know I, I know this like uh, like for young kids but I wish there could have been at least some body count I mean um, Yes, I do think the Army of Decay is like so th threatening, but I would have loved to see like some impact from them. Like, um, like maybe a, a fairy gets defeated or a special, sh a specialist gets defeated. Like, um, it, it's like they are threatening, but they don't kill anyone. Like, you know, um, I would have appreciated something like that. I I feel like at that point, I feel like fate does have a point. Like have some like body count you know like um it seems unrealistic like we're having like a war against this uh, army of decay but like uh, no one's dying so you know um but i do like what we're seeing here like so much action um uh i, I like uh how the, all the wings are like helping each other like um Stella with her scepter, like, it, making it look like a broomstick, and, you know, like, su sweeping off the, uh, uh, insects, um, Misa creates, like, a disco ball, shooting everything, and, uh, Flora, like, creates these flowers, like, it gobbles them up, and then, um, Techno kind of deletes, uh, a monster, uh, with her chip. Like, all these uh, attacks, you know, are so cool to me. Um, I also like how Bloom uses, like, her, like, she's not transformed, but she's still, like, trying to defend Kiko. I feel bad for Kiko, though, like, you know, almost getting killed. Uh, so, yeah. And I also like how the the teachers are fighting. Like, like um, Palladium, he, he defends Bloom with, you know moments later and then we see like um um whiskers he turns into like a dinosaur thing and just crushes everything like uh, those things are so cool and i just um i just love seeing the uh the background fairies the, them are fighting as well so yeah i think that's um a fun addition as well and then um yeah so overall uh the battle in Alfia is great, and then we move on to um, a battle in Red Fountain, who are all equally uh, getting uh, obliterated. But still, uh, I would appreciate like some body count, you know, uh, even in Red Fountain as well. Like, yeah, I, I also think, um, yeah, um, I love some of the designs of these specialists and fairies. I think they're really cool. Uh, like 
some of the attacks uh, with their swords and there's this guy with uh, like um wolverine of looking thing he, he looks cute um i like how um Code Tartar is using his whip as a weapon uh, that's cool and you know I, I like seeing them showing their abilities like uh, Timmy is shooting this um, creature and then Brandon does it and then uh, Sky does it as well uh, which I think is impressive uh, but still um, yeah and then I think one scene later then I feel like it wasn't needed um, it Diaspora comes in like I mean I love Diaspora uh, I love her uh, I know she's on her right uh, but I feel like th this bit wasn't needed but I feel like mm, why would uh, Iraklion like out of nowhere like just see this like where was everyone else? Like, you know, um, how come Iraklion is the only uh, uh, planet that's uh, seeing this, you know? Uh, where's everyone else's um, uh, rescue? Because I feel like um, at this point, you know, um, these uh, you see more ships, right? Trying to defend um, Red Fountain and Althea. But, you know, I feel like this wasn't needed. I feel like yeah and i feel like um jasper tried to save sky um i mean i don't see the point of this uh scene like it, it's not like it, the sky would leave anyway um so yeah I, I i thought that scene was a bit stupid um but i do like seeing diaspora like trying to save uh, her ex anyway uh, showing that she does still have like care for him but I in my opinion like I if I was her I wouldn't care for him I same with Bloom like he cheated on you and and cheated on Bloom so you know if I were y you two like just forget about him um, but yeah but is it I've, I've been talking about this uh, in my chats uh, with other people but do you not think uh, this is how like Diaspora would have an Enchantix? I mean uh, Enchantix is introduced in season 3 so like I, I can I can't underst understand why she wouldn't get Enchantix here because you know they didn't think this through uh, but you know I think at this stage I think Diaspora would have earned Enchantix because she had attempted to um, save uh, Sky, it's been like how um, Misa like attempted to save Galatea, or like Layla uh, attempting to save um, Queen Leisure. Um and she did have to like put herself in uh, in danger, right? Like when she's opening that thing, um, some of the flying creatures could. Go, go go inside of her ship you know they could have attacked her so I think um, yeah I, I, I know it's like Enchantix isn't revealed in this season but I think she would have earned Encha Enchantix anyway um, but let me know what you think do you think uh, Diaspo would have earned Enchantix in this episode um, so yeah um, overall, I think this episode, like, there's so much to say, uh, but there's, like, there's also, like, not much to say as well, because, um, it really, it's, it's, it's your eyes that needs to say it for you, like, there's so much scenes in this episode, like, that your eye does the talking for you, um, so, yeah, I think it's one of the good episodes, but I can see why, like, some people might think like this um this part of the season could drag a bit um yeah i think like uh, um this episode p episode 26 it does drag you know quite a long time um but i don't mind but it, it does feel like it does drag um so yeah
And that's my uh, opinion for this episode. It, it's it's alright. I think it's not that bad. Um, you really see like Trix's ruthlessness in this episode, and yeah. Um, uh, thank you for listening. Like, share, and subscribe. Make sure uh, this um video gets more views. Um, so yeah. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.